I run away. OK. All right, so in this one, they're asking us to prove triangle UWX is congruent to triangle U UWX is congruent to UWV. OK, so they give us a lot of givens, right? So if I'm going to prove this, I'm obviously just going to write in all of these givens that we have. All right, so pretty obvious. You can see that this line is congruent to that line. So we could say that UV is congruent to UX. Why? It's given. All right, let's get the easy out of the way. The things that we are aware of, Blake, let's write those down. OK, Sam? Now, the next one, you could say that X is congruent to V. So you can say angle X is congruent to angle V. Given. You OK? All right, so the next thing is now we're going to have to do a little thinking. So the easy stuff is out of the way. The stuff that has been given to us is now out of the way and it's been written down. Now what we need to do is apply what has been given to us and be able to see what else can we find that is congruent between those two triangles. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you see here's a line, right? If you know that that's a right angle, what does that tell you that angle has to be? A right angle, right? Because of two angles or two lines make up 180 degrees and they, and they make up a line, we call them a, starts with a linear, yeah. linear pair. So anyways, we can say that, um, we can say um, angle XWU <coughs> is congruent to angle VWU. Because right angles are congruent. Okay, you could also maybe even say that you know um, if one's ninety degrees, then we know that other one's ninety degrees in there. So now, what we have is angle, angle, side, angle, angle, side. Um, and really, guys, that's all we really need. You can see in this proof that they did, they gave you the reflexive property. If you guys want to remember what the reflexive property is, the reflexive property, remember, tells you when you have a side that is reflexive for both of them. So AJ, what that would mean would be this line UW. So you could, you could since this proof, since the proof on your paper talks about the reflexive property, this is what they're talking about. UW is congruent to UW because that's the reflexive property, or I'll always call it the same side. However, ladies and gentlemen, you don't really need that. You don't need this angle because then it's side, angle, angle, which is fine. Or, but you could have just proved it with angle, angle, side as well. right? It doesn't really matter which one. So anyways, I can just say triangle UXW is congruent, congruent to triangle U, UXW to UVW. Y, angle, angle, side. And that is a congruency statement, right? Yes. OK. And that would pretty much be it. Question? Go on. Yeah. 